On the left here is a typical bottoming tap. And as you can see, the threads don't fully go to the end of the tap. There's still a few threads of lead-in taper to the tap. This originally had a point extending out to about here, which I ground off so it could reach closer to the bottom of the hole. This tap will produce a threaded hole like this. This is a, an M6 tap, and for this particular configuration, the threads stop about two or three turns from the bottom of the hole. This is probably perfectly adequate in most cases, but on occasion I've wanted to get threads going completely to the bottom of the hole, as shown on the right here. Say you're tapping into quite a thin piece of metal and you want to get every possible thread you can out of the, the hole. All I did was I bought a cheap tap and ground the end off completely square so it can now go right to the bottom of the hole and give you a complete thread form. You have to make sure that when you're grinding the end off here you don't inadvertently blunt any of the cutting edges because it's only the, the very end teeth which will be cutting on a tap like this. So this lets you get right to the bottom of the hole with no dead area like on the left here. Okay, I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching.